I wonder how many of us have that spotless Instagram worthy setup, but somewhere out of frame or hiding in the shadows is an absolute mess. Well, I'm no different, and this is my secret. I've built dozens of PCs in my life, but very few in the last 5 years, maybe only one or two. Then last year I got hooked on deck setups in my IG timeline, and after binge watching setup videos from Random Frank P and Ed from TechSource, I finally decided to take the plunge and build a PC that had to have RGB. Something that would be the star of the show, within my budget of course. So I gathered the components and went on my RGB PC building quest. Spoiler alert, this was the result. RGB fans that don't communicate with each other, making this build incomplete. And because of that, I have a snake pit of wires that I keep out of sight, hiding my shame. I found out quickly that in the world of RGB, there are many options but not one standard. The fans that came with my case were the Enamax brand and they came with 3 pin 5 volt RGB connectors along with the RGB controller. I bought 3 Corsair 120mm fans with 4 pin connectors that came with a Corsair RGB controller and then there's also the Wraith Prism cooler with a 4 pin 12 volt RGB connector. Because of this hodgepodge of RGB connectors, I could never quite get my fans to sync up with the colors I wanted and that's why for almost one year my case back cover has never been on. To fix this problem I decided to change a few components. The first one is for you to hit that like button. It lets me know that you're loving my content and there's also a dislike button for the haters. Okay okay, all jokes aside, the real first is the AMD Wraith Prism Cooler. This has to go. I could never get the outside ring to remain one color. I guess I'd have to reconnect it via the onboard USB connector instead of the 12 volt RGB. But I didn't have any free ones left so I'd have to get one of these splitters to get that done. Another problem I have with this cooler is that it can get pretty loud when gaming or doing anything CPU intensive. Stick around till the end to see if this mini hurricane in the cave improved at all. I'm going to be replacing this with a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition. This goes well with the theme of my build, all black everything, and it should give me better thermals while remaining quiet. It comes with a non-RGB fan, but I have the option of replacing it for one in the future, without too much hassle. The next thing to replace are the Enamax fans for two more Corsair 120s. RGB of course. I quite like the Corsair IQ software and since my current Corsair fans and RAM sticks RGB are controlled using it, I think it's best to stick to that standard. After weeks of planning and waiting on the parts, let's get into the cleanup and changes.
First of all, I just want to say that if you're still watching, you're my real MVPs. And just so I know who you are, comment below and tell me what two colors are in your favorite RGB color scheme. And we did it guys. After almost one year of absolute crap cable management, our PC is now neat and tidy and the back cover is finally on. All my fans are finally in sync and it's as easy as clicking around in the Corsair IQ software to find that perfect color scheme. The Cooler Master Hyper 212 is an absolute beast and cooling my Ryzen 5 3600 is like a walk in the park for it. At no point have I heard the fan ramp up, even while gaming or running stressful applications. Have a listen to hear the difference. And that's it. Thanks for watching and you can watch this next video if you're in the market for a budget gaming capable laptop.